Right, hello, welcome to lesson four this week. So we're still carrying on with our shape work. Uh, so at the start of the week, obviously we were looking at 3D shapes and uh, naming those and looking at the properties. Then we looked at sorting them. And then yesterday we looked at naming 2D shapes um, and looking at the properties. So you probably guessed it, we are doing uh, sorting 2D shapes today to complete our set. So just before we do that, though, as always, we've got a bit of a recap task. So this is one that we haven't done that long ago at all. So only a couple of days ago, you'd have had a look at 3D shapes. So I want to see what you can remember. So I'm just going to move me up here. And um, then I want to see if you can um, name these shapes. Can you match the shape to the name? So across the bottom, we've got cube, pyramid, cone, cuboid, sphere, and cylinder. Can you remember the work that we did a couple of days ago? Can you match the shape over here to the name of the shape? Pause the video, have a minute or so to think about it, see if you can name those shapes and then we'll go through them. Right, okay, I'm going to move me out of the way. Ooh, keep getting in the way. Where am I going to go? Let's go up in this corner. Right, so let's see if you've got that right. So this first shape here, the uh, yellow shape, we've got a square base, we've got triangles around the side, we've got uh, a point at the top, so five points altogether. Well done if you have said that that's a pyramid. It is a pyramid. Right, this pink shape here, we have got one curved side all the way, so there's no points, no, uh, just one big curved side. Uh, it looks like a football. Uh, well done if you said that is a sphere. Right, this blue shape next looks like a can uh, or a tin of something. So we've got a circle face on the top and on the bottom and then one curved face all the way around the side. Well done if you've said that that is a cylinder. Right, we've got an orange shape here. So this orange shape has got six square uh, sides. It's got eight vertices those corners that we talked about and that shape looks like a dice doesn't it uh, or a gift so well done if you said that that is a cube and we look at the green shape so the green shape has got uh one point on top it's got a circle uh face for the base and it's got one curved side around the edge remember if we turn it upside down you could put ice cream in it and it is a cone and finally, our last 3D shape, this purple one at the end, it looks similar to the cube, but it's been stretched because it hasn't got six square faces. It's got two square faces and four rectangle faces. So it's got the same amount of sides and corners as the cube, but it's just been stretched because you've got the rectangle faces rather than the square faces. Um, and well done if you've said that that is a cuboid. All right, I'm gonna fly back down the bottom and oh, I'll get a bit dizzy. Right, okay, let's get back onto the next bit of our learning today, sorting 2D shapes. So similar to what we did uh, the other day with 3D shapes, we're gonna be looking and spotting odd ones out. Now I've put in a few misconceptions. So misconception is like a little trick that sometimes people fall for uh, in a couple of these questions. So uh, like we did last time, if you pause the video, have a look at the shapes, see if you can see which is the odd one out. And I don't want to know just which is the odd one out. I want to know how do you know it's the odd one out. So pause the video, have a little think about it, and then come back and see if you are right. Okay, right. So hopefully you've spotted that the odd one out is this shape here. Now, my misconception, my little trick, hopefully you didn't fall for it, was this shape here. So this shape here is a square as well. So we have got three squares, the blue, the yellow, and the green are all squares. And the pink uh, shape at the end is a rectangle. So uh, the way I try to trick you is turning the shape on its side. And it's still a square, even though it's turned on its side slightly, it is still a square. So if you turn the screen around slightly, you can see that it's a square. It's got four corners, or those vertices that we talked about. It has got four sides that are all the same length. So it is a square. And we know that the rectangle is different because even though we've got our four um, corners and our four sides, two sides are longer than the other. So that's why it is the odd one out. 
Right, okay, let's have a look at the next one. Which of these shapes is the odd one out? How do you know? So pause the video again. I only, I don't only want to know which is the odd one out. I want to know why you know it's the odd one out. Okay, so well done if you've said that this orange shape here is the odd one out. And then you've told me that that is the odd one out because that shape is a square. And the other shapes, because they have got three um, vertices and three sides are all triangles. So well done if you've said that. Okay, the next one. Which is the odd one out? So I've made it a bit trickier this time. Pause the video. Which one is the odd one out, do you think? And why do you think it's the odd one out? Okay, so hopefully you've spotted that this circle is the odd one out, the blue circle there. But why is it the odd one out? If you haven't said that, why do you think it is? Well, if you've said that it's the odd one out because all the other shapes around the edge all have four sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They all have four sides, whereas we know the circle only has one curved side. Okay, and I've got two groups here. I want to know how these shapes have been grouped. I've already put them into groups. How have I grouped them? What label is going to be at the top here? And what label is going to be at the top of the right-hand side one? Pause the video. How have I put these into groups? Okay, well done if you've spotted that the first group are all squares. I've put all the squares together. Again, some of them might be tilted on the side. Some of them might be uh, upside down. Uh, but they are all squares in that group. And the next one, they are all circles. Well done if you've spotted that. Okay, I've got some more groups here. How have I grouped these shapes? Pause the video. Have a little think. How have I grouped all of these shapes together? Okay, well done if you spotted these first group are all squares. They all have four vertices, so four corners, four sides that are all the same length, so they are squares. For the middle group, well done if you've said that they are all triangles. So they've got three vertices, that's three corners, and three sides. And finally, the last group are all rectangles because they've got four vertices, Four sides, two long sides, and two shorter sides that are all parallel. Is that where we were looking at uh, yesterday? So parallel means it's like a train track. Those lines will never touch. They'll just run side by side forever. Okay, so Sophie has sorted some shapes into two groups. So she's put triangles and not triangles. Has she done it correctly? If you think yes, explain why, the, uh, how has she got it right? Or if you think she's got something wrong, how, what has she got wrong? Pause the video, have a little think of your answer. She is right because, or she is wrong because, begin your sentence. Okay, right, and well done if you've said that she has got it wrong, because this orange shape over here, is in the wrong part because that's under the title no triangles, not triangles even. So this one needs to be over in this group here because it is a triangle. Right, and then finally, I want to see if you can pause the video, see if you can create a group. So your group is going to say um, squares on one side and rectangles on the other side and then you can write the letters underneath those columns so let's see if you can get all of them in the right order so pause the video have a go see if you can put them into the correct heading either squares or rectangles so you can use the letters that are next to the shapes rather than drawing the shapes Right, okay, so, well done if you said A is a square, B is a rectangle, C is a square, D was a rectangle, E was a square, F is a square, G is a rectangle, and H is a rectangle. 
So just before um, we I show you what the work is today, now this is a bit of an extra challenge. I've separated these shapes into uh, the shape names, so either squares or rectangles. Is there another way that I could have sorted these shapes? Pause the video, have a little think. Is there another way that I could have sorted these shapes? Okay, right. Well done if you said that I could have sorted these shapes into colours. So I could have put all the pink shapes together. I could have put uh, all of the green shapes together. I could have put uh, all of the orange shapes together. And I could have put together all of the blue shapes. So I could have done it by colour. I also... I'll just rub this out. So I could have done it by colour. Another way that we could have done it is um, by size. So I could have said uh, all of the big shapes together. So I might have said that that shape was big and that shape was big. That one was big and that one was big. So I might have put all the big shapes together. Uh, and then I might have put together all of the small shapes together. Or some of you might have even done big, medium and small. Okay, so that brings us on to our task for today. So I've got a one star, two star, three star challenge. So you must have a go at the one star challenges. So this is finding the odd ones out. So you've got to circle the odd one out in all of these groups. And then your two star challenge. Uh, so you could have a go at these. If you found that last one easy, have a go at this one. So I have grouped my shapes together. I want to see if you can label each group because I've separated the groups, but I've forgotten how I've grouped them. So see if you can have a little look to see how I've grouped those shapes together. And then if you're feeling confident, try this challenge. So I've sorted some shapes, but I want to know if I've uh, done it right. So I've got separated them into two groups. I've got squares and not squares. Have I done it right? If so, how do you know? Have I done it wrong? If so, where have I gone wrong? So uh, it, is, it is correct because, or, it is not correct because, can start your sentence there.